is that going to give us a steady supply that we can then use for, you know, just just stuff? <laughs> just, oh god, my brain is mush. I'm having to try and record this again. But yeah, you know what I mean. I, f I hope. I don't know what I mean. What am I on about? Hello, it's me, Sunfire SG, and welcome back to the Obsidian Order Season 3. Episode 3. For the third take. <laughs> I've had a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so we've got our Thieves Hood, we've actually got mending on it now, which is nice, and we've actually put a red rune on it, which makes it very, very red. So red you can't actually really see what's going on. I might change that at some point. Uh, we lost our Architect's Belt, it got damaged and we died. Uh, you'll see why in a second. But we had a time lapse. Now the footage still exists. We may still make time lapse of that once I figure out why Replay Mod and FFmpeg do not want to cooperate with each other. Uh, it's really sort of thrown a bit of a spanner in the works. And then we recorded it again and did some more work somewhere else. And then the audio on that was just off because I forgot I changed where my microphone was and didn't reset the values on it. So second one was my bad, first one was not. We might as well show you anyway. This is the starter build. So there will be a time lapse eventually of this build, but this is our starter house. So we've got a nice little enchanting area which may move downstairs relatively soon. You'll see why when we when we get there. We've got a nice little upstairs bit with clock. It's all very very nice. Uh, we've got some nice little seats on here so we can sit and talk with our friends. We've actually got a roof balcony as well, uh, just for just for chilling out on in the sunshine. You know how it is. But that's not really what I was going to show you. Well, it was the first time around. Second time around, we did some other work down by the spawners because I thought, hey, that'll be that'll be something we can do, right? Except no, <laughs> because obviously I'm a, I'm a bit of a dum dum. <laughs> I forgot to sort out my audio values. So instead, you get to see the almost completed thing. I have actually run out of time, unfortunately, that I, I can't do any more of it today. Otherwise, we'd be doing a bit more and maybe completing it. But obviously, time is of the essence, and I have run out of time. So we had set up with these here, with these cherry trapdoors, some willow behind. Just to add a nice little contrast and color of the green, though, which I really like. We have the Wisteria logs here, but I kind of feel like now, now that I've stripped them, I actually want them like this. So I've actually got some more, and that's what we're going to sort of fill out here. And I'll kind of talk through what the the grand plan or of, of stuff is here. We probably need to fill in the floor here too, actually. Let's go ahead and pop some cobblestone down. Obviously cobble is not going to be the final floor. It's just because otherwise I fall in a hole, and I really can't be bothered falling in a hole again. <laughs> So we used, let's just to pop a torch down there, we used some black stone lamps. Now these are quite cool, I like the idea of these, um, because they use black stone and shroom white, and depending on which way you place them, you get a different face. So for the majority of them I went with a sort of straight on square face, because it just, I don't know, it fits better I think. Uh, but in places where there was more than one torch, just up, there we go, right. Places where there was more than one torch, we ended up with placing it sideways as well and getting near the sort of equal sign. So I, I just, I do, I do like those. I do think maybe we need to look into making just some sort of shroom-like farm uh, and probably completely gutting that bastion that's near us in the nether. Uh, that was actually, in fact, you wouldn't have seen that because that was on the stream and I talked about it in the other episode, but obviously that episode disappeared. So yeah, we went to the nether in a stream. And it's very, very scary. <laughs> it's, it's horrifying. Where we've spawned isn't too bad. There's just giant mosquitoes, which, you know, it, it's bad, but it's not that bad. However, I think making more of these lamps and having them more integrated into the base sounds like a great idea. And the plan, really, with this particular build now is just... We've got, I don't know if you can see inside actually, we've got the decorations in here. They're all slightly off center, so having a symmetrical floor won't, won't work, so we'll need to think of some other way to make a pattern. Uh, and, and having this lit up. And then, 
Then, because they all drop into the central one, we need a way of sorting everything that drops, because this is just getting clogged up very, very quickly. And we need to do something about that. So that will be coming, if not next episode, then it will be a sort of recap in between episodes. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, time is a little tight at the moment, just because it's what, Christmas time and all that sort of stuff. You've got family engagements, things like that. So it's the time of the year. It's what everybody's sort of having to deal with at the moment. Um, but I think, yeah, we, we made a lot of progress in here. I'm, I'm happy with what we've done. I'm happy with the arid sandstone being used here. There are actually, I, I just saw Vid's latest video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's in uh, his channel's in the description. Uh, but he mentioned that there are ways to farm sand and things. Now, one of the issues that... Jeez, great, great. Can't do that, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, I've got acquisition. Cool, yeah. Acquisition means that I... Uh, pick stuff up automatically, which is nice. But the area that I'm in, the sandstone that I'm in, uh, it doesn't actually go very far at all. It's one layer of sandstone under the sand. So when you're planning an entire desert city, that's kind of a, a bit of a bummer. It really sort of sucked finding that out. So we have been using the arid sandstone. Uh, what am I now? Oh, because that's, uh, that's why. Let's press a torch. And of that. Okay. So obviously I want some lighting in the floor. But yeah, it's just, just there's been so much going on that I've kind of lost track of what I'm actually trying to tell you <laughs> these episodes at the moment. Um, what was I saying? Something about sandstone. Yeah, sandstone. So we've been using arid sandstone nearby, but I don't want to completely mine that out either. So those farms basically you put sandstone above the bubble column and I want to kind of check that out maybe that's what we'll do now since we've finished oh geez, since we've finished in here I want to work out how these farms work and if if these are worthwhile having down here so we have our storage system underneath and then we have our, our sort of sand farms as well is that going to give us a steady supply that we can then use for, you know, just, just stuff. <laughs> just, oh god, my brain is mush. I'm having to try and record this again. But yeah, you know what I mean. I, f I hope. I don't know what I mean. What am I on about? <laughs> um, yes, it's a sandstone farm. We'll go check that out. We'll see if that actually works, how quick it is, and how big of a farm we probably will need to do, considering the scale of the builds in this area is going to be pretty immense. I, I have big plans and I don't want to skimp out because I don't have the right kind of materials. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to bring that cobblestone on here. I'm going to replace it with deep stone bricks. Because I just think... Do I want to replace that? No one can see that, can they? I can see the glass? No, you can't see the glass. Cool. It will replace us with blackstone. I don't mind cobble on the inside of here, but I don't want cobble showing anywhere else, I don't think. Let's just whack another. Let's whack some torches down just round and about. So I am very aware that when I have one little square that's not lit up, I get a lot of mobs in here. So I'm trying to avoid that where possible, and I'm probably going to go a bit overboard when it comes to the lighting systems for the floors and the ceilings and all that kind of jazz. Uh, yeah, like, getting blown up in here would be the worst thing I could possibly imagine. Because, yeah, rebuilding an entire, well, not just one farm, but three mob farms where they're all connected to one tube. So much could go wrong if there was an explosion in here. So much. I really don't want that to happen, so we're obviously going to try our best to keep everything as well lit as possible. But yeah, you can kind of see, that looks a lot better actually, doesn't it? Just changing those wisteria logs to have the unstripped bark. I like it. I dig it. I dig it. So yeah, that's what we're that's what we're doing here as such. So you're up to date on that. Let's go try out this this farm of sorts. We've got our arid sandstone. Uh, do we have normal sandstone? Let's just dump a bunch more stuff in here that we don't need. We've got a bunch of stuff. Those. Those. Cool. Right, sandstone. I think I've got some upstairs. It's chilled out. Sounds okay. 
Let's go check it out. Let's go see it first. I think it's probably night time. It is. So again, we're doing another episode in one take, which is not something I do very often when it comes to Minecraft. But I actually feel a bit more confident about doing that now. Weirdly, the Skyrim and... Oh God, Gusters. And the New Vegas stuff have meant that I'm a little more comfortable talking... He says, completely freezing up. Talking <laughs> during a video. Let's get rid of these suckers. I actually got a really cool item called a bag of sand from these, but I don't... I think you can do anything with them. I think they might be broken in the game. I could use it once. I threw some sand once, and then it just stopped, stopped working. Just stopped working, so I, I don't really know what to do there. We have also figured out how to grow gooseberries. You've got to wait for like a little branch to grow off one of these. It's called a cypress branch or something. Thanks to Llama for telling me that, actually. Very helpful. Let's just chuck that away. I don't need that. I know I'm saying I need sand to make sandstone, but not that sand. <laughs> Right, got some sandstone there, got some sandstone there, we've got our soul sand as well. And then it's a case of if we just dig out. How did I get burned by that? I didn't stand on it, did I? Let's just dig a trench here. It's not going to stay here, but we'll give it a try. So, down one more. I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, require mining. I'm hoping it just drops a block and that block can be picked up by a hopper. But I'm all new to this, so I'm working it out as I go. I hope you don't mind that. Get that there. Grab a little bit of that. And now you should be able to go slower so we're actually getting every single one of them. Alright, so they are all yeah, they're all bubbling. So now we should probably get a channel of some sort. We'll knock this out here. Maybe some signs would help as well. want it to sort of push that way if possible. I don't think it's doing that though, is it? It's just kind of filled in. Hmm. Why has it filled in like that? Have I, have I done something stupid here? It doesn't normally do that, does it? It normally just like flows down. Okay, do this and then we'll put sand here. see if it's quick or if it works or whatever. Let's fill this in. Okay, so we've got no extra water there. Shouldn't move into anything you don't want it to now. That's flowing now, which is great. So then, we knock out all of these. Yep, that's looking promising. Okay, right, we're on to something. So that's all there. Then we will make some signs with whatever wood we've got, I suppose. What have I got a lot of? Probably nothing. Oh, we got, we got Wisteria signs. Cool. Perfect. That worked out very well. We place those along all of these so it just pushes the block. Oops. Oh, I don't like that. 
Don't like that. I wonder if you can actually go back into the sign on this. So, let's try that. So if I empty the sen uh, this sign out of my... Oh, you can. You can edit it. That's very handy. I hope it's just the person that puts it down, though, because otherwise people are going to be having a lot of fun with everyone else's signs. Just saying. Right, let's put some arid sandstone here. And then we'll get some normal sandstone. Five. And then do we want to get some of the red sandstone to see if that does anything as well? Let's get a little bit of the red sandstone. We've actually got some bulk storage for that. Cool. Red sandstone. And then I guess we kind of wait a little bit and see if anything drops. Oh! Oh, it's just a sign. Oh, you're going to break them. Oh, do we need, like, pistons or something that push it out every now and then? Is it sand or is it sandstone here? It's sand, isn't it? But it seems to be broken. Yeah, what's going on here? See? Ah, oh, ah, okay, so once it's fully formed, it pops it out. Okay. This isn't horrible. This is working. So, yeah, we could definitely build a much bigger farm. Does it? I don't really understand. Is it just that's it forming and it's not fully formed yet? And then when it is fully formed, it pops out. We'll just keep an eye on this for a sec. Hang on. I, I need to make sure it doesn't delete the water, because if it deletes the water, then that's a problem. It doesn't look like it deletes the water, but maybe it just takes a bit of a time to form. Yeah, no, it does. And then it pops out. Ooh, we could have some large-scale farms then and start actually collecting all the different sand and all the different sandstones. So we actually have something to build with. That's very cool. That gives me ideas. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that's probably where we're going to have to leave it for today because I really do not have any more time to do anything bigger than this, I guess. But that is actually churning out a decent amount. Yeah, what... Well, Eight arid sands, that's two sandstone. And I don't know how much sand we had before, but we've got some sand now as well. It's working. It's working. It's doing the work. But I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.